morning guys welcome to today today is about something that happens to you as you get older you guys there will come a time when you will not be able to see as well as you could yesterday it will just happen and when you go and buy hair dye you will look at the box and it will say light brown and when you get home and you dye your hair it is only after it turns red that you will discover that the box actually said light red brown yeah that happened i didn't even see gabby's like why are you why did you dye your hair red i'm like no it said brown and she's like no it says light red brown so yeah now i have light red brown hair what do you guys think looks lighter in the camera darker in real life anyways good morning welcome to today some of you guys are sending me pictures of what you wrote yesterday and it makes me excited when i get home today i'm going to write my thing today in addition to i am a patient am i patient sam <laughs> i am patient if i say it enough times it's gonna come true i know it it helped me so much yesterday it's just that my life is so busy i said yesterday i should do a day in the life like i think you guys would be shook like i wake up and i already have like from the moment i get up there's so many things some days every once in a while every once in a while i'm just like i can't today like i just can't there's just so much but there is so much and i'm just gonna keep working keep going through it but i'm not gonna be impatient today i am patient i am patient i might have to do that one for a few days what are you sam are you patient? Yeah, you're, you're, well, you're mostly patient. You're more patient than me. I don't know. I don't know what I would rate. Oh, I could give you a few. Anyway, welcome to today's video. Today we're headed out. I'm picking up some crazy stuff today. Like, things are, like, I have evolved as a horsewoman, you guys. So anyway, more on that after. All right, we are home and we have surprises all right so basically you guys know that i do not know how to fit a saddle i don't know anything about saddles in the past so brandon on his way in the past i've had to always get a saddle fitter to come and give us a saddle which is like ten thousand dollars every time you have them give you a saddle get you a saddle and it involves two months of waiting for a saddle so anyway this time I got brave and I know a little bit more about how our saddle fitters fit our saddles and I got brave and I went out there and I found some saddles to try. Just joking, <laughs> just joking, I am not brave. I am brave, I'm gonna write that down, I am brave. I am brave, but uh, one of our coaches. You know what I wrote down? What? I'm good at spelling. You are good at spelling? That's amazing, now you have to believe it and bring it into your life. No, I don't believe it. Well, you have to believe it. That's a part of it, that's a part, you guys. So. Anyways, our coaches, um, one of our coaches, Brandon, he, whenever I say, like, I'm still saddle shopping, he will shop for us and try and figure it all out. So today, we are going to be trying, Gabby's going to be trying this on Chino. It's an older model, and I'm not sold on this, you guys. So basically, it is the T 2GS. CWD and the reason I'm not completely sold on it is one I hate the two-tone saddles. I hate them I, I mean, it's pretty like it's nice and it's in good shape But I don't like this part. Oh, I like that part. I like the dark better than the light no, like So this part. I like it. I like that So anyways, there's so much controversy about the 2G like about a flex saddle. Whoops. Wow Yeah, and so this is the thing I hate the most on uh CWD is their billet. See how they're cut out on the sides there? It makes it really hard to grip them and they're really short. So like you have nothing to grip on. They just, they're, they're hard. Trust me when I say they're hard. Um, but we're going to just try it and see how this saddle, this is recommended by our trainer. So, yeah. Does this saddle cover actually fit it? Yeah. Mine doesn't fit mine. Though. It does Sophie. You just have to figure it out there. Definitely love the saddle covers that um, go. I don't know what someone did to Gabby, but Gabby's like really happy today. Gabby's and really talkative. happy today and really talking to him. Woohoo! She's been like that the last couple of days. Okay. So uh, you might think that that is a big exciting thing. Like trying a new saddle is always exciting, but then look at this. So this is a saddle that I'm going to be trying. I don't know. I don't know. Like look at there's a heart on it. Is that a sign? You are not a sign. Go away. I'm not a fan of tooling. 
I don't like a saddle that has all that tooling, but I could get into it. I could probably get into it. I just feel like it would be like really slippery. Like it is slippery. And I, and I also don't love the look of it. But anyway, this is it. This is the saddle. It's got a nice, nice seat. I like the seat. I like that it's leather. I like that it's the color I like. Um, so I don't even know if it'll fit me, to be honest. So anyway, yeah, that's what we're doing. We're gonna try those saddles today, but first we're gonna go feed our baby bearded dragon. Um, the girls are still doing homeschool. Don't look at her work, you guys. That's so rude. Who would even want to try and look at her writing? Uh, Sophie's got her tea, no, her hot chocolate. I found fidget pads at the dollar store the other day. Fidget They're pads awesome. at the dollar store. She bought and this, oh, this one's cute. Beef. Yeah, but the only things that I find with like the circle ones is the only two of these things work. Every time we go to feed the baby bearded dragon, all the dogs are like, yes, it's time, let's go. Watch. Yep, they're all coming. All coming except for Gabby's, who's not allowed to come because she's with her. So as you can see, right there is all bright orange now. And it wasn't before. So you think she peeled off? Yeah, that's shedding. Yeah, so see, she's shedding. See, before uh, her old owners, we're gonna give her, a her bat. tail was like, yeah, we're gonna give her a bath. Try and help her with the shedding. I'm eating, you guys. I'm eating my favorite toast, avocado toast. Okay, so Sophie went to have a bathroom break, but I feel like having her upstairs in Sophie's room is the worst thing for her because it's taking her a longer time to get used to us, if that makes sense. Like, she gets nervous, so she doesn't eat as well as she could eat. She never just runs and eats. She, we have to, like, hand feed her. We have to... Be patient, I mean, good. because she's not used to this Why much commotion. It's red, I know. So I'd like to move her downstairs, but at the same time, at night, it gets really cold downstairs, and it's warmer upstairs, so it's better for her. When we finally move, I think we'll do it differently. I think she'll go downstairs. She tried to eat the watermelon you put in there. Was it too big? No, she just tried it. Okay, all right, here they go. Crickets. That's way too much powder you put in there. We dust the crickets with uh, calcium and vitamin D3. That, one, that one's too big. So, see, we jump the crickets. She's excited, but because Sophie's moving around, she's all worried and nervous. Sophie, you should move away and I just let her. Too big. too big. All right. It's literally been days and we still are worried about how much she's drinking, how much she's eating. We still have to like hand, we still have to hand feed her. We still have to like help her with drinking. We still have to um, do a lot of the stuff. It's a lot like having a baby. Oh, she's going to eat the watermelon. Oh my gosh, she loves watermelon. Oh my gosh. The problem is, stay there, stay there. The problem is a baby bearded dragon really needs to eat the crickets more than she needs the watermelon. I'm in. Oh, come on, you guys. You're making her distracted. Typically, we leave her salad inside her, her tank to try and encourage her to eat. She needs to have a bath. Yeah, she needs to get some of that scaling off. So basically, she'll only eat when we leave the room. So basically, we feed her, and Gabby, you're distracting her. All right, so uh, sometimes she'll eat a little bit in front of us, and sometimes she won't. Like, we need to fix that. Like I said, her being up there alone makes it difficult because it prolongs the time where she understands, like, gets used to all the noise and stuff. And also, we all want to watch, and the dogs all want to watch. It just turns into this big thing where we're all there distracting her, and then, yeah. But anyways, so we're going to leave, let her eat, and get on with our day. I'm trying to let go of this heartache. It's been following me. Do that you do 
My journal, Can my. Not. Look at how gorgeous my heart is. Doesn't matter. Different ways, different people. No. Different ways, different. Hey, don't break my heart. Oh my gosh. Gabby. Okay. I'm going to show you guys something. I'm going to show Gabby something. Okay, Gabby. Oh, Gabby, go ahead and write and look through the camera at the same time. What do I write? Just write, my name is Gabby. And make sure you can see part of the pen outside of the camera with your vision. Isn't it hard? No. It is hard. Wow, you, you, yeah, <laughs> you said mine was bad. It's not hard. It is hard. Can you see it outside of the camera? Can I try? So, so when you can see you the pen the outside of the, on the side of the camera, and you can see the pen in the camera, it does that bent straw, that straw in water. You know how you put straw in water and it makes the straw look bent? Give me the camera. Yeah. It does that same thing. It makes it hard to write. Give me the camera. But who would put a straw in the water like, all right, I'm gonna take a sip of this water using my straw. Sophie. <laughs> Sophie. Like, don't get blindfolded, Sophie. <laughs> but I'm blindfolded. It's who worth it. Like, basically, basically I have been hated upon this day. This day in my own home, I have been hated upon. Put a straw in water? I did. I could do it better. All right, person. guys. I'm going to drink out of this lake here or this pool full of chlorine that's going to kill me with my straw. Let me put it in water. Yeah, that is exactly a perfect example of why you never argue with a 14-year-old. Remember I told you guys before, 14-year-olds, except for the girls that sent me messages and said, I'm 14 and we're the most beautiful girls of, of earth. Literally the nicest girls. But sometimes so, at 14, is it is the pinnacle of the crazy. This is blindfolded. Blindfolded. I'm so I'm Sophia. So that, my friends, is why you say one thing and they turn it all around 500 ways and make it about something completely like you cannot argue with a 14-year-old and win. Never. A 2-year-old and a 14-year-old. Same. They're like the same age revisited. You drank it. No. I didn't drink it. That's yes for you did drink it. No, I, I did not drink it. Oh, and I threw it out? Oh, I threw it out. Okay, we'll go ahead, finish it up. I don't think she needs any more caffeine today. Nope. <laughs> anyway, let's get going. All right, wait, what's the plan? Are we putting Chino's blankets on first? Yeah, he's riding Chino That's first. All right, so today, oh gosh. I don't like that the horses like me. I don't like that they're like, don't come with you, don't come with me. I don't need any more friends. Um, so, okay, so today is confusing. So I'm shooting a video today for something else, something really special. I think you guys will love it. So we have to do that, but we only have two and a half hours and the girls want to ride. And then Gabby wants to ride two different horses. So Here's we're gonna- blanket completely ripped. Oh. Like his red piece is gone. Oh, that's dangerous. <laughs> we should uh, bring him in and change his blanket. Front piece is ripped. We're gonna have to bring him in first ripped. then. If I was smart. Oh uh, yeah, our three horses stick together, you guys. We are a day by day family sticks together. Yeah, like that's dangerous. Gino, you enjoying this nice spring day? Yeah, I know. He's gonna that'll that's not good. That's not good. You guys see what I'm seeing? Bring them back, bring them in and we'll change the blanket first. Yeah, we, we thick storm, you guys. Oh, it's cold. All right, Chino. So, okay, I'm gonna try and explain this. Chino's got some rub marks, not like he's got some pressure spots. And our chiropractor was like, oh, you better change the saddle. Uh, you better change the saddle just because of the rub marks. So then Gabby was riding in Sophie's saddle to see, but our, our saddle fits Chino. Like, it doesn't make sense, but you know, things can happen. So then we didn't ride Chino when he was off, and she came and she said, you know, you know what's weird is that Chino's rub marks are worse, and you haven't ridden in his saddle since I saw you last, and the rub marks are worse. So we're pretty certain it's a blanket. What was it? 
Oh, here, I'll take it. Yeah, Chino's naked in the field. Gabby's fighting off all the other horses. <laughs> Gabby. <laughs> Gabby swung the blanket at him, hit herself in the head. Come on, naked boy. Did you Nothing. Scare boots, away? boots, is that his name? Yeah. All right, so we have Chino who's like, give me the food. He knows we're the treat family. He knows it. He knows I'm the treat girl. They all know it. But today. I don't like people biting Finn. Where? Finn's like our sweet boy. This dad's coming off. Rude. I know they're why. Uh huh. This is like narrower than Kaylee's new saddle. Okay, well, let's see it. So we got the new blankets. So basically, what I was saying is that we bought him bigger blankets and we're gonna find some that have wither release. I'll show you what I'm talking about. You wither relief. When he has a bite. Yeah, he got attacked. It's an attacked kind of day. Alright, so this is the new saddle. It's like really snug. Does it? Like too snug. It would help if you were not pushing it. I don't know. It kinda it feels kind of okay to me. No, it feels really snug. Like snugger than mine. Alright. Like I can barely get my hand in here. Yeah. Right here's fine. Yeah. Just a little narrow. But yeah. Here I can't yeah. even fit my fingers there. So the CWD is a no-go. My CWD fits him. Yeah, that CWD doesn't. All right, so that can go right back to the car. We won't even ride in it, right? We won't ride in it. Nope. No, it wouldn't even fit with the half fat on it. No, nope. no fit. Yeah. That's okay. Anyway, so we don't necessarily need a new saddle for him. I know ours fit. Just but I really do think that the blanket is really pulling on him. We can hear the snow falling off the roof from in, from in the barn. All right, so who are you riding today, sister? My baby boy. Yeah, because we are oh doing, we're shooting it. video. You guys are going to get to see it soon. It's going to be a really good one. I think it's going to be a good one. We're going to have a lot of fun shooting it. I think you guys are going to like it. You know when Finn gets a bite, um, a horse is actually like chasing him. Yeah, I feel bad for him to get chased. He, he sees a way from a horse. But it didn't fit a horse because it was so okay, narrow. Okay, put his blankets on. Wait, I'm not riding him? Uh, no, are you doing him for the video? You want to do one thing with him? So Brandon told me that blankets like Finn's that have a high neck actually help with the wither relief or better for the wither relief. And I could see that. And another friend told me that if they're too big, it's just as bad as if they're too small. So we're going to try it on him. Show you guys the new Chino swag. I didn't like this color. You didn't I don't like? even know why mom got this. We That's, never agreed to get this one. Yes, it's the one no, we picked. We never agreed it. It was the very first one that you picked. No. All right, well, I don't know how that happened then. Yeah. All right, so we went up a size. Oh, so this does look like the he right size like for him. him. Okay, so we were down a size, all of his blankets. <laughs> it gets really quiet when all the snow falls off the roof. I like this fuzzy part. Yeah, that fits it's higher. Like look at it. Down. It's like, oh, okay. Well, oh. She had to it's like. Back. It's like, see how this part is loose there, but it's tighter here? It's like his other blankets, the tight part, fit back here tight. So now he's a size 84 because of his round stomach. Thing. Yeah, like so. All the room. But yeah. You know when you're skinny and then your pants like are too loose? And then once you get fatter, your pants get tighter around your stomach? Yeah, we know about that, Gabby. Yeah, that's just like for blankets. Yeah. So I don't. All right, so this is not even that big and it's an 84. All right, put the other thing on top and let's see if it'll fit. Like, that's, that's an 84. <laughs> so look, it does look roomier up here. Like, this has space now. Yeah, and look at his butt. Look at his butt. Who doesn't love a fluffy butt? It covers a little more of his butt than yeah, the other one. Yeah, I think he could go up. Like In this blanket, I think he could even go up a I size. Think he could go up to 85 or 86. All right, let's try the next. Problems, let's put the, just put the other one on. I don't like these kind of butt flaps, though, that tie. Because oh, that's just a... Uh, Magnet for all the other horses to grab um, something for them to grab Goes across there That is just to go underneath the tail. I know. I mean, it's kind of nice to have an extra piece, but Not when you're a boy boys like to play with extra pieces <laughs> I don't even know what that that I don't even know like you guys know what I was talking about <laughs> Gabby's like 
10 shades of red and not understanding. Oh my gosh, that's is... not 10 shades of red. Okay, that is way smaller. Probably because it's over or something. And it's all tilted to one side. Oh. There. All right. So the reason that we got the burgundy. What? Is so that's just a rain sheet. Wouldn't it be nice if that lasted till rainy season? Because it's yeah, so pretty. It's pretty. Mom wanted to get a freaking gross blue, blue. color. Yeah. And then I they got... didn't have their size. I don't think. Yeah, and then Gabby got to pick because it's her horse. So. Yeah, I was like plum. Yeah, Gabby. She looks good in plum. Yeah. Okay. That's the only color he looks good. So I don't know if you can plum. see if, the difference. If you cut this. In the see how it's different. They're they're it's harder to grip yeah, with we your have teeth. To, we have to cut if that. If you cut this, it'll be. Bigger. Once we buy it. Yeah. This I mean, we already bought it. This makes it expensive. Once we don't have to take it back. Yeah, once we know we don't have to take it back. Well, do we know we have to not take it back? Like, I think it fits. Well, I also like how it's bigger than the other one. Back. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So Definitely. Should, how long do you think this is going to last, you guys? Not good, because all the geldings go like this. To yeah. their blanket. That's yeah. what they did to Storms. Oh. So then they ended up getting the underneath part. How did Storms blanket look? I don't know. Normal. All right, take them off. Are we keeping them? Magic brush? Yeah. Right. I have a hack. I have a hack. So if you guys have a magic brush, I already did this one. But um, grab your hoof pick and just like scrape it on here so it gets all the hair off. Yeah, that's what I do too. I'm not gonna lie, this still seems small, eh? Like we need a blanket today. Otherwise, I'd just say keep it or take it back and get one size bigger. It's so fat. <laughs> plug, plug your ears. Plug your ears, oh, Chino. Like oh yeah, they're all shutting. Okay, so that is it in the saddle. Saddle, swipe, done for today. Blanket, swipe, done. Now we're gonna shoot this video. Swipe, done. Like I keep saying, I wanna do a day in the life of Laura video because you guys would be shocked at all the things that I have to accomplish in a day. All the things. I'm gonna take this blanket outside though and put it in the back of the car because it's actually not broken, just ripped, and I could sew that. I mean, it's ripped terribly, but I could still sew it. Oh. It happened. Gabby found her first heart. Even not Gabby's first heart. Is that your first heart? No, I've had like millions. Okay, there it is. No. Oh. oh. Right here. When he's standing up, you can see it, oh, but yeah. he's resting a leg. Yeah, and there's one there too. All right, there. Is your heart a horse? It's, I look because there's only like freaking red hair growing i know like he's like take, me we got red we hair it all off and then you can see the red hair through and it look at you can almost hair. see like some pressure marks there too from the blanket that oh, yeah that's, it's for sure rub from when he got it yeah because yeah he goes today but he does that's what happens to him it's the blanket for sure and just as i walked in i found another heart although it looked like a heart better <laughs> for, for there it's kind of like bat wings from this perspective. Let's see if I can get it to look like a heart. It did, it looks like a heart, trust me. The weird thing about hearts for me is that I mostly see them when I'm mad or angry or feeling like angry towards someone. And it's like always God's sign to say to me, be kind, be kind. I should have wrote that today. Be kind, I'm kind. Another heart. All right, this is Storm's blanket for the day. For the week, maybe. This is the blanket that we bought when we had Stella. I think Stella even wore it. And I had to do a little repair job right here. Hopefully it'll last them. We're back to mud. The groundhog came and did not see his shadow and we're expected to have an early spring. And we're back to mud, you guys. Both kittens were here having lunch. So I'm actually anxious to come down and try the saddle on Penny. I, I want to be able to try it on myself. If I can convince Sam to stay with me. Forgot my mitts though. I'm not gonna be able to last. But I really want to try it and see if it fits me, see if it fits her. Oh, there's Kitty. And there's Kitty number two. You wanna come, Pen? I actually need a halter for you. Good girl. Oh, hello, kitty cat. You're going away soon to get a little surgery so we don't have baby kitties. How cute would baby kitties be? Hey, how cute would they be? It's super cute. It belonged to a man before. A man taller than me. But doesn't it look really small? And another thing is I don't like a really wide twist. Like, I need to sit on it. I don't think this is going to fit me, to be honest. Right, Sam with the... 
smaller than the one you got. Where do you measure from? I thought, do you measure from like here or down here? Uh, this is the part I'm worried about. Because there's not, it doesn't look like there's going to be enough room. I need to be able to sit on it. How could I sit on it? What? You have to try it out. But, I mean, All right. It's a little bit smaller. Than... Is it smaller? Oh, that sucks because I actually am kind of getting used to it. It's a little bit heavier than the one I have, which I don't like. Try it by riding it and see if it hurts your butt. Well, that answers it right there. Like, this is so tight. Holy heck. Like, there's no way she could ride in that. No way. Oh, well. Another one bites the dust. I like it, though. I actually am getting really, like, excited about it. I was actually getting really excited about it. Oh, well. No new saddles for us today. We'll keep trying. We'll keep trying, right, Penny Pickle? Don't you know that you're beautiful?